Hello everyone. I have a Polestar 1 here that has a dead battery and I'm going to show you how to replace the 12 volt battery today. As you see the vehicle has 1.6 volts in there. Let's turn this on so we can either get the trunk popped. The vehicle is now being supplied with 12.6 volts. We have a new battery here and the battery is located in the trunk and we're going to have to pop the trunk here. In the trunk here, we're going to have to remove a few things. We're going to have to remove the carpet here, the carpet on the side. Also, we're going to have to remove this bag here. After removing the charging bag here, we want to come over and pull the carpet out. Underneath the carpet here, there's a tab. You're going to want to pull this out. And from here, you can see under here there's the battery down there, so we're going to have to remove this plastic trim here. To remove this piece here, I want you to remove these two T25 bolts. On the back side here, you have these little plastic covers that go over this. I want you to pull those off, and on each side there's going to be a 10 millimeter underneath those covers. Here, and then also here. Now with these screws and bolts out, this should just pop up on each side and pull out. Underneath here, there's going to be a plug. Disconnect that and lay this trim piece to the side. Here you have a tow hook and a hubcap holder here. I want you to remove that. Next, I want you to take this T25 screw out. Work this trim up and pop it out. We have a tire inflator here. I want to remove this 10 millimeter nut, this 10 millimeter nut, and that 10 millimeter nut. And after doing so, this will pull out. And I just want you to stick it to the side over here. Remove this 10 millimeter nut, this 10 millimeter nut, this 10 millimeter nut, and this 10 millimeter nut, and move the part to the side. Next here, I want you to remove this plug, and this plug here, and also this plug. I also want you to remove this clip and put the wiring harness to the side. I now want you to come to the negative cable and this clamp here, I want you to loosen this 10 millimeter up so that you can take this negative clamp and put it to the side down here. I then want you to come over to the positive side, open this tab here. Underneath this tab here, there's a 10 millimeter nut that goes to the clamp. I want you to loosen it up and pull this plastic piece up. Now with the negative and positive cables off and the battery housing off, I want you to remove the lockdown strap here now that the negative and positive clamps are off and the battery strap is off, there's a seven millimeter bolt right there that secures the battery down. I want you to remove that. After removing the clamp and the seven millimeter, I want you to remove the battery now. With the battery removed, it's time to install the new battery. I now want you to re-secure that clamp with the 7mm bolt. Re-secure battery strap, reinstall both positive first and then negative battery clamps. I now want you to reinstall the positive battery clamp, tighten the 10mm down, and then reinstall this wiring harness. 
And now I want you to tighten these four 10 millimeters down. Now time to reattach your negative cable and this plug. And then I also want you to tighten down this 10 millimeter and secure your clamp. With everything being secure, I want you to double check and make sure everything is tight and everything is locked down and these little rivets and everything are back in their place. It's now time to reinstall the air pump box here. And one, two, three 10 millimeter bolts. Install this cover and make sure that the trim is over it. With the panel secured now, I want you to take this T25 and tighten it down. Resecure tow hook, reattach plug to the trim piece here in the trunk, and then secure the trim piece down here. After securing the trim piece, I want you to put this T25 back, this T25 back, and this 10 millimeter and trunk holder down and the same thing over here now that everything's secure let's put the carpet and the charger bag back in now that the new 12 volt battery is installed and everything is secured i want you to grab your scan tool or vita and i want you to program the new battery this concludes how to put a 12 volt battery in a polestar one thank you everybody for watching and so the next time Thank you for watching Fully Charged Zone.